We are at the supercharger in Rigge, which is Europe's largest supercharger site with 34 supercharger stalls. And there will be eight more coming this year, so that will make it 42. But, um, you know, I want to talk about something today. Um, that um, you know, for the longest time now, Tesla has been talking about, you know, opening the supercharger network for other uh, cars, right? Other EVs. Well, so far, it hasn't been, I mean, there, we still, we, we only have Teslas who can charge on the supercharger, but at least Tesla is open for it that other manufacturers can, you know, charge at their charging stations. But, but the problem is that, you know, you need, uh, the cars need to have the same plug as Tesla, or they could be like an adapter. So this thing here is the, the Tesla chargeable adapter. So this adapter will allow Tesla to charge on the other fast charging network, the Chadamo. Uh, yeah, they have the Chadamo plug here. Uh, <coughs> so, you know, if Tesla can make an adapter like this, I mean, wouldn't Tesla also be able to make an adapter for Nissan Leaf and Kia Soul or other cars that uses Chadamo? Uh, you know, this like the reverse Chadamo adapter. So, so that a Leaf could charge on the Tesla supercharger network. Um, now, why don't I mention uh, CCS? Well, because I think the, the CCS protocol is slightly more difficult to, to deal with compared to uh, Chadamo. Chadamo is more, in a way you can say it's more mm, a looser protocol. You can actually send uh, power the other way also. Yeah, that is for uh, uh, vehicle to grid and some other stuff. Uh, so, why not? I mean, uh, so I want to ask, uh, the, your guys' opinion. Uh, I want to ask you guys who who has a Leaf or you know Kia or, or any other 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 car. Like, if Tesla made an adapter similar to this one that costs the same, you know, in Norway it costs like four thousand eight hundred. Uh, uh, Nook, uh, other country in US, it's like four hundred fifty dollars plus tax. Uh, what if you could buy one of these adapters, these reverse chargeable adapters? Um, and you can charge on the supercharger network, but of course you have to pay uh, for per kilowatt hour or per minute. You have to pay basically. You have to pay the same thing that uh, you know people without free supercharging has to pay. Sorry for that noise. We have a helicopter flying over us. The police is looking for me. Or looking. Yeah, I'm not, just kidding. No, we are near Riga. It's an airport. So, uh, <clears throat> but back back to the point. So, I mean, would you? Would you buy an adapter like this and you know, like supercharge? Well, you know, obviously, you, you won't be able to supercharge, you will most likely receive about 40 to 50 kilowatt on your car, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but you know, still, you st uh, still, you know, the supercharger network, even if you have to pay for it, is way cheaper than, uh, than the other networks. For instance, in Norway, you usually have to pay about three, yeah, around four nook per kilowatt hour. When you fast charge with this thing uh, or with other cars, you know. Uh, but uh, in Norway, you pay only 1.4 nook at the supercharger, so it's way cheaper. Like, uh, and the advantage, of course, is that you will have a massive network you can access, and it's transparent through the whole region you are in. So, in if you're in Europe, you know you can drive from north. You can drive. Uh, yeah, maybe the new leaf, not the one, well, the 30 kilowatt hour leaf or the 40 kilowatt hour leaf. You can drive the leaf or the Kia Soul uh, from Norway to Spain, you know, uh, without having to worry about the various like um, uh, charging RFIDs or whatever. Uh, but I mean, and one, yeah, that's the thing though. Um, in order to like make this possible, Tesla has to make an app. Just like you know, Fortum and you know, New Motion, all those other apps. So they need an app where where you can, the users can see live status on the superchargers, and uh, they either have to uh, like start charging from the app. Uh, you have to choose, you know, you have to choose um, location and then the stall number, uh, and then you can charge it like that. Or maybe if they can figure out something that there is like some kind of VIN check let's say that the DS adapter has a VIN and then the supercharger will check the adapter to figure out if the, if this adapter is allowed to charge and then but then the VIN this adapter has to be connected to the user on Tesla so that um, Tesla can bill you afterwards so of course there are two ways to do it I'm not sure which which one that will actually work or you know technically will work but uh, I mean 
in my opinion, I mean, I, I've, I've tested many of the other EVs and many times when I tested the other EVs, I also just occasionally, I mean, it just happens that sometimes I supercharge, let's say on, uh, on a supercharger site, which also has Chadamo. So I, I sit at the Chadamo or CCS station. I'm like, oh man, I wish I could supercharge instead. Or, you know, sometimes when I'm passing by a supercharger site, I'm like, oh man, it would be so great if I could just stop here and top up instead of having to go to, you know, whatever other place, weird place or yeah. Uh, so I don't know what you guys think. I mean, would would you would you get it? Huh? <laughs> but uh, okay, I see some other minor problems. Uh, is that uh, Tesla has? I mean, the Tesla supercharger network. The layout is planned out for Tesla, and the Tesla has the charge port on the same side as the driver. But um, some other cars, you know, they have the charge port in the front, like uh, Kia Soul, Nissan Leaf. Um, some other cars also have the, the charge port on the other side there so that means that uh, if these other cars would start charging on the supercharger there will be some weird parking uh, so they have to be kind of strict about you know park within the lines and then plug it in but you see even today we have people uh, not I mean Tesla owners not parking correctly at the supercharger <laughs> but um, I don't know. I mean, I like the idea. I don't know what you guys think. So, um, uh, if especially if you have some of the other cars, just leave a comment, and I want to know what you think and like how much would you pay for an adapter, and would you if it, would it be okay for you to pay, you know, to to pay at the supercharger? I mean, would that be a good deal for you? Yeah, let, let me know. Oh, this is interesting stuff uh, in my opinion. So, yeah. All right. I think that's it for now. Then, uh, so uh, talk to you guys later.